So the nice thing is that we can now use those queries to our advantage and we can start creating calculations. Calculations don't necessarily mean that I'm going to do multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, those types of things. Calculations within a query can also mean I want to do what's called concatenation. Concatenation means that I want to take two text fields and I want to bring them together. So the first query that we're going to do is a calculation where we're going to join that first name and I'm going to show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is <clears throat> we have a customers table. If we look at our customers table, here we have the company name, we have last name and first name. Let's say that what we would like to do is we would like to show the name as first name, last name, but with a space in between. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new query. I'm not going to bother using my query wizard. What I'm going to use instead is just the query design. I want to use my customers table, and all I did to do that was just double click. And I'm going to bring in the first name and the last name. So I'm going to drag and drag. When I view my data, that's what I expect. But I'm going to show you how to make a third column, one that doesn't exist yet, where we're going to concatenate those two fields together. Now, remember that when I was talking before that I want to, you want to make it so that your field names have no space. Well, as you can see, when you're looking at this table, last name and first name do have a space. So now you're going to get to see why it's kind of a pain. I'm going to go over into my query by example grid or my QBE grid, and I'm just going to go to the third column. There's nothing in there. And what I want to do is I want to make it so it's the first name and last name. To do this, since I have a space in my field name, I've got to use the square bracket. So I'm going to put in square bracket and I'm going to just identify that field, first name. And then I put my left square bracket and then remember that when you're working with text, you don't add text together, you bring it together. So what I'm going to say is, hey Access, I want the first name and the last name. And is denoted by the ampersand. So I will put in an ampersand. And then I'm going to identify the next field, last name. Square bracket, last space name, right square bracket. And when I move off of it, Access automatically says, oh, I don't have a field called that. This must be an expression. And what it does is it automatically puts EXPR1 and a colon in front of it. Let's run our query and see what we get. I'm going to view my data. And here I get my field. It's called EXPR1, which is what, it's, what it named that column. And I do have the names, but there's no space. So we're getting close. I'm going to go back into design and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my zoom feature, shift F2, and what I want to do is I want to say access, I want to have the first name and a space and the last name. So I have my first name and, to put a space in you use quotes, we're working with text. So I'm going to put a quote, space, quote, space, ampersand and then I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to go view my data and now I have exactly what I was looking for. The only problem is is that my expression, I don't want it to say EXPR1. I want that to be customer name. So I'll come down here, I'm going to double click on the EXPR1 and I can type anything I want. I'm going to call this customer name and now when I view my data, it says customer name and it has exactly what I'm looking for. Well, this is great. This is exactly what I want. But I'm going to show you how we can now make it so it's the last name, comma, first name. Same thing. I'm going to go in and I'm going to say I want my last name and I want a quote, I'm going to put a comma in, followed by another quote, and first name. Now by the way, if I didn't have spaces in those names, I could physically type last name, first name, and Access would automatically recognize that that is a field in the customer's table, and it would automatically format it properly. But since we have spaces in there, I have to put in that square bracket. 
When I move off of this, it's calling itself, calling itself expression one again because if I, if, if I had left this the same, this would be expr2. So I'm going to change this. I want this to be customer name lf for last first. When I view it, now I have the last name, comma, first name. Now I'm going to show you one more trick. What I'd like to do is I'm going to make this so that it is the last name, comma, first initial, followed by a period. To do this, I have to tell Access that I have a full name in there, in the first name. I only want the left one character, the, the first leftmost character. To do that, I have to use a function. And this is very, very neat about Access because you can use functions within a query. I'm going to go into design. And now that we know that we're getting exactly what we want, I want to get rid of the first name and the last name. I don't need them anymore. I'm not getting rid of the data. I'm just physically saying I don't want it in my query anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I want my last name. And I want a comma, so I put that inside the quote, space. And now I'm going to use a function. There are functions that are built into Access. Left, right, mid, those types of things. I want the leftmost character. Here's a function that you can use to your advantage. It's called left. So I'm going to say left. And you know what? I'm going to put this in the zoom window for you so you can see it better. Shift F2. Left, whenever you're working with a function, is just like Microsoft Excel. You have the function name, and then you have a left and right parenthesis. So, the left function, I happen to know for a fact, says what is the string value that you want and then how many characters do you want. So I'm going to say I want the first name. So I put the square bracket, first name, square bracket. And then you have to put a comma saying, all right, my, my function says I need two things. And it won't know what those two things are unless I put a comma in. So I put a comma and I want one character. I move off. Customer name, and I'll just call this init. Now when I view my data, I have my last name, comma, and I have my first initial. It's exactly what I wanted, but I want to put a period after that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into design. I'll open up my zoom. And so I'm telling Access, I want a field called customer name init. It will consist of my last name and a comma with a space and the left first character of the first name and a period. When I click OK, I move off, I view, and now I have my customer name formatted exactly the way I want it. This goes to show two things. One, you can use calculations within a, you can calculate strings or text within a query. Two, you want to make sure your data is in the lowest common denominator. You want it the lowest, you want it the most granular value that you can have. So if you can break stuff down, if you can say um, a customer's name is not just their name, it's the salutation, Mr., Ms., Doctor, first name middle initial or the entire middle name. If you can get the entire middle name, great. If you want the middle initial, you can use the left function. And you want the last name. You may even want um, the suffix, like the third, fourth, you know, whatever. So those are the types of things that you want to do. You want to make sure your table has the data. And once you have the data, you can get it out any way you want. So that's a calculation using strings.